want to come up here and sit inside of it? Yeah. So we are about to start our trip. We have rented a U-Haul and our task is to load a whole bunch of rocking chairs with this guy named Doug. So it'll be the three of us in this U-Haul for five hours and we're going to go to Sunflower, Mississippi and stay overnight at Doug's hangar with all of his really cool plates. Okay. Where are okay. we going? We got a lot of first stuff. First up, Sun. Nashville. Fl oh, Sunflower. Yeah, Nashville. Yep. Maybe Shreveport if they can get their water situation under control. It froze. Yeah. <laughs> so and then <laughs> Horseshoe Bay, Texas. <laughs> Horseshoe Bay, Texas. It's just about mm, 12 hours. Maybe 13. But we're going to do just a little bit at a time. We're going to pace ourselves with some stops along the way. Drive safe, get these rocking chairs where we need to go. Thank goodness she got a little butt and she can sit in this seat. <laughs> <laughs> So we made our first stop at the gas station because Thomas didn't top off the gas before we left so we ran out a little quicker than we thought um, but we're like 20 minutes away from Pairings Crossing where he wanted to get gas but we're like we're not gonna make it if you don't fill up the gas. So yeah we're making a pit stop and then getting some snacks out of the back because there's really not a lot of room. Like, here's driver's seat, me, where Kiki's staying, and then, like, I have this little itty-bitty bit of room, so just gotta stretch out while I can. Okay, it's 11 p.m. We made it to the hangar in Sunflower, Mississippi, probably about 30, 40 minutes ago, and we got all of our luggage carried in and we had a little snack leftovers from dinner we stopped through memphis and ate at patrick's and met up with a friend and now we just got in our rooms and we're gonna get ready and just go to bed so tomorrow when i wake up i'm gonna take y'all through the airplane hangar there are so many planes and I knew there was going to be a lot, but it is insane. Like, I've never been in a place like this. I've never seen so many planes before. It's going to be, I'll do a whole tour and it's going to be awesome. Also, look how big this TV is that I get to have all to myself. Like, what the heck? Grand Rising. Just woke up. It's about... Well, I didn't just wake up. I woke up around 7. It's about 8 now. I got dressed, brushed my teeth, washed my face, did a little bit of makeup, and then we're going to go eat, and then I'm going to take y'all around the hangar. It's insane. You're not ready for it. Hers, it got flooded, but it went all the way down, of course. And I had a little, they had some of my drywall out. Good morning. But not much. Good morning. Hello. She's filming. There's Goldie, Alley Cat. Hello. <laughs> Hi. Look at that oh my God. Okay. This is what it's like outside. There's the U Haul. And they have, it's a weather vane that's an actual airplane and it moves in the wind. You can't really see it. There's not a lot of wind right now, but that's insane. But yeah, just nothing. Here's the hangar. And it actually feels a lot better today. It was freezing. We drove through snow on the way here. But now it's probably like 60s, maybe high 50s. Okay, I'm going to give you all a little tour. Here's the kitchen. Here's the fridge. Let me like set my phone down and get in front of this fridge so you can see just how massive it is. Look how big. Like, I can't even touch 
sides. Biggest bridge I've ever seen. Hey, I might give you a ring. Rocking chairs, I guess. But we have the living room, this ginormous island, the outdoor enclosed patio. Thomas. Hello. <laughs> living room oh yeah here's the hangar here right. i'll take y'all in just a second but you get on this hallway two beds and a bath this is where i stayed i need to clean up two beds and a bathroom let me show you my bathroom like it's super nice and look at this shower like it has a bench and everything, it's so nice. And then we have their bedroom. And every room has its own like ginormous flat screen. These planes are so big. Like this wing is insane. This one looks cool. And when Thomas's dad is here, he takes the planes out and flies them around Mississippi. But his dad currently isn't here, so we're not gonna take the planes out. These things are so big. I mean, obviously planes are big, but like when you're standing next to one, it's crazy. All of these fancy toys. Nice, nice, cheap gang. And then Thomas said he has, the man has this vintage done up fire truck. Oh yeah, this is cool. Super cool. Wow. But yeah, that's the hangar and all the cool toys. One over there, those are World War II trainers. And this is a World War II plane. Okay, wait, so you said this yellow one uh -uh. and no, the yellow one over there. That yellow one over at Stearman? Yeah. It's a World War II trainer. Nice. And then this one here, that yellow or that blue and yellow one, that's a World War II trainer. And then this one here is a, it's a World War II, I, I guess it's a trainer. I mean, it's, I don't know, you have to ask my dad. But it was remodified by the Navy in the 1950s, and then they bought it from the Navy. Wow. So, and that one over there is a Vietnam plane. This one over here is awesome. It's a, uh, watch that, yeah, that's an air. This is an observation plane that was used in Vietnam. They're they're pretty rare. They're about two hundred thousand dollar plane. I'll open the side here. You can look inside. I think the inside part of the you know the neatest. Wow. But my dad and I flew in it. I mean, it's great. That's crazy. We flew about a thousand feet, which is pretty normal. But this one here flies the best, in my opinion. And Dad and Doug are going to have it restored. And when I say restored, I guess they're going to take all the skin off of it and put new skin on it. And it's going to look like brand new, but I think it flies the best. That's a crop duster plane. I don't really know much about it, but <clears throat> my dad flew one like this back in the 1970s, actually here. The runway was behind here. The old runway is no longer here. <clears throat> but this is a crop duster and this one here is a crop duster. 
It's a cool, cool pine. This one here is a super cub to the right. I think it's from like the 1950s. That's a piper cub to the left. That's the early 40s, I think, like 42. And then the chant back there is a 46. So, kind of neat. It's so pretty. Nineteen fifty-eight, maybe. I think the ladders aren't real. They're like they have battery trickles. It looks like on everything. It's a. F it's hard to tell. It's a four-seater, side by side. Mm-hmm. This is a fun toy. Mm-hmm. You want to come up here and sit inside of it? Yeah. Whoa. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, look, you can see everything. <laughs> Bad hair day. How am I supposed to get in there? I'll show you. Okay. So what you'll want to do. Just throw one leg over. Well, you see where your little silver this? thing is? Yeah. Okay, which leg? Uh, Probably your right. Right leg? Okay, like this? Uh-huh. Okay. And then just up. Swing your leg. There you go. You got it. Fighter pilot. Okay, this is a little claustrophobic. Not gonna lie. Whoa. Make sure you do it sideways. When oh, I sideways? Do, yeah, when I do YouTube videos, it has to be. Oh, crap. Okay. It's okay. Whoa. So cool. There's... There's a lot happening in here, <laughs> and I don't know what any of it means, but I feel very, like, I mean, it's cozy. Not too bad? No. See, that's how I look at stuff. I know you talk, talk about claustrophobic, yeah, but it's a little claustrophobic. I look at it as cozy and comfortable. But it is a little cozy. Because here's the thing. You're in there. You're in control. And it's kind of your space to work in. So that's how I look at it. More of a comforting way than a claustrophobic way, if that makes sense. Luckily, the seats are comfy. Yeah. Yeah, this is awesome. I'm in a plane. Smile. <laughs> Where are we going now? We're Shreveport. going to Shreveport. To Louisiana. My girls. Just left the hangar. It was awesome. That's so much fun. Wish we had had more time. Yeah. We'll come back. Next time. Hey, where's the phone charger that was in here? Okay, it's fine. It's fine. It's Makes no sense. You mean the light's red and we're just sitting here? No, that light's green. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> How does this make you feel? I'm really hungry. Jesus, who's turning left? The ghost? There's a house over there. Well, oh, a chimney. Goodness. Makes you appreciate where uh, you live. There's a downtown grill. Where's it? That sounds good. That way. Which way? Left. I mean, there ain't squat. Hell, I do kind of just want to leave. I know. This thing's not even comfortable to drive right now. You know where to go from 